Hello friends. So let us talk about the estimation based on test group category. So what does this mean? Since we have studied the test organization and structure of a testing group, so what is the estimation? That means how much cost is required, how much time is amount or spent. So this is to estimate the number of test cases and the suits structure and the test objectives that are created. So number of test cases used by the aim of this system test phases is more than the estimation. Then the, there is an accurate estimation of number of the total cases of the test cases for each group. Those have obtained by adding a fudge factor that means a 10 to 15 percent that is total number of test objective which has been identified by that group. The second estimation is based on your function points. Now the concept of function point is to estimate the resource of analyzing a requirement document. That means about the requirement documents what are the estimations are required that has to be done. So the central idea is method a function point method is identified. It gives your functional view of a system in the form of number of user inputs, number of user outputs, user online queries, number of logical files and number of external interface. So logical files inside the uh, uh, program, inside the code and external number of files so that means it has supported some query file, it has DLL file or any link library files and estimated the project size of the number of lines of code that is required to implement the, the system and the number of test cases required. So there are four steps of computing a function point. So that is identify your five types of components which is known as user. Second function type is it's a software system and count them by analyzing the requirements document and the requirement documents as I uh, explained earlier it was input file so it is abbreviated NI. External output type abbreviated NO. External inquiry files NQ abbreviated as NQ. Then you have internal logical file NF. Then NE is external interface file type. Then so step 2 is to analyze the complexity of the following about the 5 files, 5 type of user function and classify them to level of complexity then average simple accordingly. So for example, it is about the external input file which are simple and the internal logical file, the internal files, logical files have an average complexity. Now the according to the complexity they are categorized and the number of external interface files that are complex in nature. So there is a weighing factor, a factor threshold or a weighing factor is identified with all those files related with each level of complexity, each type of user function. So two types of user function with same level need not have a same weighing factor. Now how to how they decide the weighing factor? So that means for each and five types of users there is a weighing factor associated. And now according to the formula, so unjust and unadjusted or crude function points is defined with the initials, the abbreviated and the weighted user input plus weighted logical files, interface files, etc. So, so there is a UFP. You just see the underneath formula is written over this. Accordingly, it calculates, it defines your unadjusted function points. Now, again there is estimation of function point by two methods. One is your, uh, the estimate the code size from the function point and then the estimate by your code size. Or direct method is to estimate the number of test cases directly from your function points and indirectly is so we will see about the indirect method. Now indirect method says about the function points of your software system are computed by examining the details of requirement of the system from the requirement database. So from the database they have been computed you implement it with the help of the different programming languages where it produces your LOC then the given total function point for a system can predict the number of LOC for a software system making an assumption. 
and at this point there is need to utilize one's experience in estimating the number of test cases which is to be designed. Then you have direct method and the direct method there is a relationship between the function points and the total number of test cases as the total number of test cases is equal to function points into 1.2. And then you have the number of test cases estimated above the encompasses all forms of testing done on a software system. Different types of testing methodology which has unit testing, integration testing and system testing. So it does not distinguish between the system test size from your total testing effort. Now uh, I hope you have understood the estimation model of the function points, LOC and so on. So we will see about the next chapter till then. Bye.